HTTP in HTTP3 in curl. So we heard uh, Robin talk about HTTP3 and quick and everything. I, I um, from a curl point of view, I, I like to talk about HTTP3 rather than quick because that's the application layer we're talking about all the time. So uh, everything in when we talk about quick or show in APIs and stuff, it'll be HTTP3, even though, of course, HTTP3 will use Quick. So I will just show you a little bit how we build it, run it, and uh, a little bit of, about the internals right now. Uh, it's still very early, so I can say that status right now is in a bit of a um, early, you can try it, it doesn't work, but you can play with it. So I started and implemented support for NGTCP2, that's a mouthful of a project name, by the guys behind NG HTTP2, of course. Uh, the TCP2 name has its own little fun story, but I'll take that another time. The, the Google guys didn't approve of the name TCP2 originally for the uh, quick project. Uh, but uh, NG TCP2 then is just a quick library. So it, they only implement the quick layers. And again, then back to what Robin explained before, TLS, the TLS data you need to do quick isn't provided by any of the normal uh, APIs from OpenSSL and a lot of the other popular TLS libraries. So you need new APIs, and in OpenSSL they don't they have they haven't even started yet to implement these APIs. They're waiting for the final spec, or I think one of the guys said before, which is a bit interesting, of course, because uh, it'll take a long time until we get that uh, API. So. Um, these guys have a patched OpenSSL version. So if you want to build uh, curl this way, we need that OpenSSL. And of course, um, we need everything else then to use this OpenSSL. And it makes it an interesting challenge since you could... When you build curl, we can have a SSL in a lot of different uh, parts of the code, really. So it, uh, it's interesting. And there's no HTTP3 support in NGTCP2. So, um, there's another library that's <laughs> that I, I originally intended, I actually mentioned that in Curl Up last year, called NGHQ, which is, well, HQ being the, pri the prior name for HTTP3, HTTP over Quick. And that was the library I was sort of going for originally when doing this, but it hasn't really developed and I haven't really kept up with that, so I'm not sure exactly what the HTTP3 situation is based with uh, on this. And GTSP2 branch, so I'm not really sure where to go uh, once we get the quick stuff up and go in there. NGTCP2 is uh, SSL agnostic, which might be a good idea. So we could basically, that would follow a curl tradition, so we could use it with any SSL library then theoretically. But it also means that NGTCP2 itself doesn't do all the magic stuff. It basically adds a lot of callbacks to us to, to do a lot of, uh, you know, feedback, magic, crypto data, magic, quick crypto data that I really haven't kept up with. It's really complicated. It's hard to understand this. So, NGTCP2 does a lot of stuff, calls our callbacks, do the necessary things using the uh, crypto library and tell us when you're done. So, it, it requires a lot of code. I think I'm over a thousand lines of code just to, to do the SSL NGTCP2 uh, back and forth. And I don't even understand this. I mostly copied from his examples. So, and that was like draft 16, 17. That's three drafts ago. They probably changed it since then. So I need to do it again. <coughs> uh, it's not easy. This question, that's on a different branch, right? You mean the entire work here? Yeah. Yes, it's in the quick branch that is pushed on, on GitHub, and it's fairly updated. I mean, it's fairly <coughs> rebased with the with the, with master, so it's basically the current code with uh, some other junk with this junk. And then um, the Cloudflare guys uh, and uh, Alessandro, which is uh, fun because Alessandro is a long time packager of curl on Debian, so we know him since a long time. He's the, one of the main authors behind Kish, which is a quick library done by Cloudflare, and they are also going the, the full length, so they are working on HP3 in here. So, um, 
they did the work of adopting quiche, or rather the, the patched curl to use quiche to do HP3, and then I spent some time, so nowadays we can then build curl with either of these. So we have a, a pluggable backend, so we can build with either of these quick libraries. So we have actually a backend support now, so we can actually, going further, possibly plug in other quick libraries if we want to. Um, so API-wise then again, we need uh, a library that supports the TLS uh, funny thing. So Boring SSL being from Google, they already did these APIs uh, in their library, so we can build this with Boring SSL. But then of course everything else in curl also needs Boring because we can't mix OpenSSL and Boring SSL in the same because they, they collide in symbols. Um, which is also interesting because, uh, you know, Boring SSL is a particular situation of a library because they don't do releases, they basically tell everyone, bugger off, don't use our library. So it's an interesting choice to use. Um, but it has HTTP3 support, and I'm, I'm a little bit behind here because when I, when I started, well, when I tried it out and built everything here and tested it, I, I was still on their earlier versions of the code when they did HTTP 0.9 over Quick, and that worked fine. Actually, so I could we could actually use this command line uh, to get a HTTP 0 0.9 uh, response over quick to the Cloudflare servers. And in in this case, I just want to clarify this little option here: uh, HTTP 3 direct, then meaning that we have some prior knowledge here, and we know that this host name uh, runs quick on port 443 because we don't, otherwise HTTPS would be a TCP connection, right? But this option says that we know, so we go to HTTP 3 direct. Um, so when I started this, we didn't have any old service support, so otherwise we wouldn't know that there's actually HTTP 3 somewhere. So you know, that bootstrapping, how do we get to HTTP 3? In this case, we shortcut the, the dance around to get to know about HTTP 3. We know that it's the exits. And uh, right, and uh, I'm going further, I will of course make sure that we actually support all the service properly so that, that we can uh, do this more proper, the more uh, spec, spec way. So this is only working with keys then, and the TCP2 is not there yet. <laughs> and of course I haven't done any tests, I mean for the test suite, I haven't really figured out how to do these either. I need to um, figure out what I can do to to plug this in into the curl infrastructure. When, it, when I did it for HTTP2, I used one of the NGHTTP2, um, the proxy service, so the proxies HTTP2 to HTTP1, so that I can run our standard, you know, silly test server for, um, and just front it as HTTP2. And I want to do it with that with HTTP3 as well, but I'm not aware of any such project yet. So I want to have a HTTP3 to HTTP1 proxy, sort of. Maybe I need to do that myself at some point, but ideally that would be the coolest way because then we could suddenly just run basically the entire test suite over HP3 instead of HP1 or 2. Um, so internally then, I of course had to, I mean, we already supported, um, we already support UDP connections, you know, TFTP uh, is supported. So we already have this distinction between TCP and UDP internally are just changed it slightly, so now we know, now we have, instead of doing <coughs> socket kinds, we now have transport kinds, so we have TCP transport, we have UDP transport, so we have quick transports, so that was pretty easy. Uh, and there is all now, if they have done enable quick, and actually going forward, I would imagine that when we set this, we enable HP3 in, in curl, yes, sure, and I'm sure we will have some bits here, exactly how we're going to use HP3. But going forward, I imagine the implementation, exactly what Robin talked about, that HTTP 3 is much simpler than HTTP 2 from a sort of HTTP standpoint. So ideally, the, the quick library here will give us a connection and we don't need to do all the all that um, multiplexing that we need to do with HTTP 2 that is exposed to us and we, we're aware of it. We have to deal with it. I, I, I imagine that we can pretty much ignore the multiplexing part with HTTP 3 because that's all handled by Quick. They, it'll just give us streams, right? So I think the HTTP 3 implementation from our point of view might or could end up 
easier and simpler than HTTP2. So there's this uh, uh, setup option, Let's enable it. I, right now, I only have that bit, use HTTP3 uh, direct. So uh, don't do the old service dance. And you can, uh, I set this version bit so we can actually see if HTTP3 is enabled in the build. I have this li uh, little directory now for uh, vQuick for the quick backends. It's just simple, it's a build time if the thing, so we, we know which library to use. Right, and there's this generic. So it basically is inspired by how we do TLS. We have this file provides just a generic internal API for every, every quick thing we need to do. Connect, read data, send requests and stuff. And that file in turn then uses the correct backend functions for whatever library we're using. Um, right, so uh, H3 should uh, hopefully be less messy to implement uh, in, in curl than H2. A little depending on how the libraries uh, will, will expose this API-wise. I haven't really, as I said, I haven't really caught up, so I'm not sure how Kish is going forward with that. So right now, there's basically a foundation on how to do HTTP3 in curl. Not, not there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit behind on, on updating and, and trying this out with the, especially the key HTTP3 um, support. So it should be there to get stuff going. HTTP 0.9, I've tested, it works. So there's work to do. I've hesitated a bit to push forward on this very much because as, as we've learned today, changes are happening all the time and, and there, there's Clearly, that a lot of those these teams working on Quick, they're not really bothered about HP3, so they're all behind on HP3 because Quick is changing so much. So they're all sort of yeah, and then we'll glue on H3 in the end on top. But as long as Quick is moving around all the time, H3 is going to lag behind. So I'm sort of been waiting for things to stabilize and for people to start working on H3 so that I can use one of those H3 libraries without having to do all that, uh, too much of that work myself. But I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that in, within the months going forward, things will be better and I will start trying out this for real. So I, I'm hoping that soon I will get Kish and, and try, try out HP3 for real then with it. <clears throat> and then, of course, short term, Enabling this in my build and doing tests is going to die. I mean, the SSL situation here is completely messed up. It's, we can ship anything with HTTP 3 in a long time, right? The, um, I think NSS has support for the APIs here, so, but not, not a single distribution is using NSS anymore. Um, so, uh, I mean, even, um, even the Debian builds now have switched to curl built with OpenSSL, right? And the time, the time plan here for OpenSSL to support these libraries, it's going to be a long time until we can actually ship curl with HTTP support, HTTP 3 support in, in a Linux distro, or any distro is going. So it, it's going to be for development purposes for a long time. Right, and uh, Fedora Red Hat also has OpenSSL, right, these days, so it's a... Uh, in GNU TLS, I don't think they've started either on the, on the APIs, so... Um, yeah. I'm going to continue to try to get the NGTCP2 uh, stuff working. It might, I might not feel that it's that important. If the Kish support comes there, I figure that NGTCP2 might, I mean, I might slow down that development a little bit, but we'll see. Um, because I think using anything using boring SSL is not a long-term solution for anyone, as I said, and no, no distribution is going to ship uh, boring SSL anyway, so, so leaning on boring SSLs where you're doing it is, is, uh, is not the correct long-term solution. It might be correct short term to get things tested and working, but not long term. So that is what I wanted to talk about or mention about HP3 and Curl. Uh, so it's not a lot yet. 
but uh, the foundation is there and hopefully it will be more soon. Any questions? Anyone want to implement everything that I, that's missing? Well, it's not an extension even. No, but no, WordPress itself doesn't support those APIs either. Basically, the only ones that support it are those libraries that are made by the same teams that make Quick. So they're made by Boring SSL and NSS and uh, um, Pico TLS, I think, or the other, I don't remember the names, but they're more, more smaller niche libraries made basically by the same teams that are involved in Quick. But so no, none of the, well, NSS, I guess, could be one of the bigger libraries, but NSS isn't used by anyone anymore, apart from Firefox. So you mentioned the test, you, you, you have a tendency on getting you know, a server to test against, but you are thinking of proxy. Okay. I'm thinking of a proxy solution, yes. So a proxy against HTTP proxy, or just direct to? Uh, just an H. Yeah. I mean, so that 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 we talk H three to right. that in the back end talk, talks H one to our regular stupid test server, mm -hmm. just so that we don't have to implement all those weird test logic things again. That sounds like that has to get done. Yeah, that has to get done. But then we, of course, then you get we get the same situation, right? But for the server, mm -hmm. which SSL, li SSL library are we going That's to use true. for that? Yeah. Uh, and so and. It's complicated when using a mix of libraries too, right? And we can't mix open boring with open because they they collide. So we can't we have to So it's not um, So the happy path would be at least one get one done. You know, I don't know if it's a goal to have uh, Yeah, that's uh, Exactly. So I'm 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 thinking maybe whatever we fixed something in a development version and just try it out, does it work? And then down the line we fix the TLS situation better when when it sorts itself out by others. So I figure right now it it won't be a solution that is um, the TLS situation is going. Everyone is going to suffer from it, but it'll work it itself out somehow. And in the meantime, we work on getting the H three stuff done. So by the time we have TLS sorted out, we can things are working. I imagine. Do you have any builds done in CI at the moment of this branch? No. Well, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've had, I have pushed it. So I've, I mean, I've had tests running, but since I don't have an H3 test running, I basically just confirmed that the, this doesn't break existing code horribly. So. so do you plan to push this as experimental when it gets to a certain level? Yes. Yes. Once there is at least some chance of getting it to actually respond to an H3 request, I'm, I want to be fairly early on and say this is an exper experimental feature and, and put it out there because I, I think there will be an interest from more people to actually be able to run H3 tests against whatever. And then I think we get a good spiral if it can be fairly early out to, to people can actually run this against their servers and we can get feedback and we can pretty much like we did with H2. I think there's a big benefit for us to be fairly early out to this. It'll benefit us and it'll benefit the sort of the larger community as well. Sorry, you're <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't really considered zero RTT yet. We have a, right now we have a f uh, fast open support in, in TCP, but it's basically it's very um, like yeah, you can switch on the flag and basically try it out. We don't really 
we don't really deal with it, you know, the replay problems or anything like that. We check that the, the request is actually sensible to do with fast open. And I figure we would end up in the same situation here. What's, what's sensible to do and how do we deal with zero RTT here? So I haven't really considered that yet. I, I want to get the infrastructure up and get something going and then consider those more finer details or, or proper details once. So get the foundation there, something going, and then start figuring out the, the little things like zero to T and a lot of other uh, finer details that need to be there for this to be a good working solution. And, and then sort of start considering, why? Well, hey, what, what if people start using this in libcurl and the build application? What do applications really want from an H3 connection? Really? I haven't really... And, I, and I'm... It's really early on. I haven't had any users say, hey, when's H3 support ready? I mean, basically nobody cares <laughs> yet. <laughs> but that's also good because it, it takes, uh, there's no pressure here. We can, we can take our time. <laughs> some, some, of us, some of us don't make PhDs on this, and some of us do. <laughs> Yes, patched open, patched open as well. Yes. So who's produced that? Well, right. Since since the patched open SSL isn't any standard open SSL, isn't it isn't made by the open SSL team. So there's no official patch here. This patch that we're using is made by the NGTCP2 team because it's made for the patch is made to make sure that NGTCP2 can use open SSL. So they had to patch their version. So that's that's the. That's the version we're using, or I'm using for this. Is anyone at OpenSSL looking into this, or are the NGTCP2 guys trying to commit to the OpenSSL project? Mm, well, I, I, from, from my perspective, it's, it, it has appeared like this, that there has been some gentle pushes towards the OpenSSL team, like, uh, <coughs> excuse me, when are you going to start doing your side of this work? And the response has basically only been, uh, we're waiting for the specification to, to land, and then we can fix it. Right, so, so then, so... How many times? How many times can you add a new interface that they need, right? <laughs> some, so they're burned now and just waiting for it. Yeah. So, well, I can I can respect that standpoint. So, how many times do you have to do the same work in a different way? So, but it still makes uh, everyone, you know, put everyone in a funny situation that we have to just wait. And, but ideally, I guess. Yeah, I don't know the specifics here, so I can't really comment, but ideally if the patches like this team is making, if those patches are decently good and, and, and they provide the correct APIs and interfaces and data, maybe then that would be a great starting point for the OpenSSL project to just adopt that. I mean, clean it up, fix it, and then merge it. So maybe, maybe it's not that long until we can do that. But I mean, remember how, how hard it was to deploy H2 just because everyone was using the, the stable version of OpenSSL and not the latest. By that time, when H2 shipped, we already had the ALPN support in the latest OpenSSL. And that was a problem because people weren't using the latest. Here we're talking about a feature that nobody even started on yet. So it's, of course, it's going to take time. Imagine getting all the, getting the fix into an OpenSSL in an OpenSSL re release and then making sure that everyone is actually using that release in their machines. And then we can use it in curl. I mean, it's going to, we have a long time here. <laughs> we have time to polish our code. It's a long process. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to take time. At least for, for the majority of those in these users. So, I'm done.